These past test questions are here to help you pass your New York State fire alarm license the first time. There's over 52 pages here. There's approximately 150 test questions, about 30 to 40 questions per module. First module is for fire alarm installation, standard codes and techniques. The second module is all about control panels and alarm transmissions. Third module is all about security systems. Fourth module is all about fire technology. And the fifth module is about fire alarm service and maintenance. So where we compiled most of our information from to get these questions of course it's from the past exams from the New York State alarm license test but you're not going to be able to find any course material out there that's why we're creating this for you to give you the steps to give you the steps necessary so when you go take your exam so when you go and take your exam you have the confidence to pass it the first time so I'm going to go over a few questions so you can see exactly what you're going to get inside of this package so the first question is what is an addressable device so now let's read all these questions to find the best possible answer the first one is it's a fire alarm system component that possesses a manufacturer identification. It's a fire alarm system component that possesses an identification label, or it's a fire alarm system component that possesses discrete identification. It's a fire alarm system component that possesses computer network identification. So the best possible answer will be the answer that's highlighted in bold. It possesses discrete identification, meaning it sends signals directly to the central station so we can get the fire department in there. However, there is an enunciation for the fire alarm system in the event of alarm emergency. So now the second one says blank detector has pipe and distribution network to areas being protected. Air sampling type detectors use a fan inside its housing to draw air. We have infrared ultraviolet. We have fixed temperature spot type detectors, rate of rise detectors, or air sampling type detectors. So the best possible answer there would be an air sampling type detector that has pipe and distribution. That would be like a VESDA system, something like that. Now the last question I'm going to go over so I can let you go and actually absorb all this information so you can pass your test. An analog initiating device can transmit a signal that indicates on and off conditions only. Is that a true or false? The answer for this is false. An analog initiating device can only transmit a signal that indicates varying degrees of conditions rather than a simple on off condition. So depending on the type of environment, it could be a lot of smoke. You may get a fire alarm. You may get a false alarm on a little bit of smoke or depending on the type of chemicals that's in that particular area, the smoke detector will go off. So if you have any troubles downloading the this PDF file, hit the support link at blueprint at securitsecurities.zohodesk.com. All right. So good luck on your fire alarm test and be sure to reach back out to us to let me know that you are now a fire alarm contractor. I'll talk to you later.